Hello and welcome to Treble D. In this tutorial, we're going to quickly go through how to use SketchUp Free, the browser based version of SketchUp, to make this absolutely awesome attic home. Treble D is absolutely free to download. You can get it from trebled.com and it's fully authorized to be used for education purposes. Treble D is currently being used by schools and universities in China, the UK and the US. The first thing you need to do is to create a SketchUp free account, then download Treble D and upload it into SketchUp free. So we already have a video on YouTube that can show you how to do that. We start our model by placing modules onto the grid. We select the live and kitchen view. We select this dining room module. We zoom in, use the move tool and grab it by the base. Tap the control key to make a copy and jump back over to the model view and we zoom in and place it on the grid. Then we go back to the live and kitch view. We grab this living room module. We zoom in and grab it by the center of the X, tap control and go back to the model scene. Now zoom in and place the guidepost X over X. At this point, we're going to update the view. This means we'll zoom in, get, get it looking how we want and click on update and select OK. Now every time we go back to this model scene, we're going to see this view. Now we need to flip this module. We right click and select flip along green. Now we're going to go to select our kitchen, uh, this one, and we'll place it in our model. Now we use the rotate tool. We zoom in to the center of the X, tap the down key to lock in the blue direction and get our kitchen in the spot we want. It's always a good idea with SketchUp to check the rotation angle. If it's not 90 degrees, uh, things will get ugly. So you just check it in the bottom right hand corner. So that's it. Now we place the rest of the modules in the same way. To adjust the walls of a module, we keep on double clicking until we open it up and the wall that we want is highlighted. Now we select the walls that we want to move and we drag it all into place and we tap the appropriate arrow key to keep it all in line. So we've gone ahead and placed our stair, laundry, bedroom, bathroom modules, and we've added a garage. Now we're going to make some adjustments to the garage. So using the move tool, we drop the floor down. We tap the down arrow and type in 18. That's 18 inches or 450 millimeters. Then we multi-click to open up the garage wall and we're going to pull this wall into place with a push-pull tool. Now we need the back door here so we copy and paste this door using the move tool while holding down the control key. So it's critical to get the height of the doors right. So we do that by referencing the first door we can change the door swing by right clicking and selecting flip along red direction. And we can slide it along the wall in the green direction by tapping the left arrow key. To add a, a new window, first we must select the wall by clicking. To place the window in the wall, we're going to use the component tool. So we select the in model sign and a list of components will appear. So we're looking to match the kitchen window. 
So we select the one that we want and place it on the wall. We grab the window in the center and tap the left arrow key and then find the reference point for the center of the wall. To adjust the height, we grab the corner of the window and tap the up key and use the door to reference the correct height for the window. Now we need to assign the component to a layer. We select the entity info box and choose this doors and window layer. To copy the window, we tap the control key and drag it to where we want it. And just adjust this door while we're at it. So we've, we've inserted new windows into this living room module in the same way. Now to insert the fireplace, we need to cut a hole in the wall. We use the rectangle tool and push pull. We then jump over to the miscellaneous scene and select the fireplace. And drag and drop it into place using the guideposts. Now we're going to edit the kitchen. First thing is to we want to move this pantry under the stairs. So we pull this wall out to uh, make a, an enclosure. Then we open up the kitchen group, grab a pantry and move it and rotate it into place. We can fine tune that later. But now we're going to center the sink under the kitchen window using the move tool. Now we move the dishwasher over. Move around these other kitchen modules. and we adjust them using the scale tool. Now once we've fine tuned all of our modules, the next step is to select them all and we choose make group. Using the entity info box, we assign the group to the layer level one. Now we can fine tune a view for the level one scene. We get the camera angle where we want it. Choose update and OK. And we do the same for floor plan level one. And that's it. The majority of level one is done. So please stay tuned for our next video where we'll be making level two. Cheers from Triple D.